There we go. Welcome on in, everybody. Let's take a look, see at the transcoding. Yes. First try transcoding. I don't need to reset or bounce stream. I will just go right ahead and uh, send out a Discord message as well as a quick tweet. And of course, if you are in the future watching on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. Um, hey, Flamingo. Welcome on in. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta like get my voice and everything warmed up here. Um, I was very excited when, when I saw that this one arrived because I was like, please let it come. Uh, hey, Zuli. Hey, Purple. Thank you. Hey, Sun. Um, and like the ring light is not showing even the outside of the box to its best advantage because of course ring light, but I think, oh yeah, it's got like this, sh oh, there we go. It's got the, such a cool shift to it. Like, oh, and then of course, oh, 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 mm. okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to be able to like fully see. Is it on the front too? Oh, it's on the inside. Like. <laughs> The box is just, I mean, I, 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 I love that the boxes are so freaking extra. Hey, Ragdoll. Hey, Amethyst. Hey, Trianera. Hey, Fleeked Up Geek. Oh, Lizzie, everybody, Spacey. I hope I'm not missing anybody. Everybody's showing up for the hollow taco. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll not, we'll not, we'll, we'll just pretend We'll just pretend that I'm not blatantly missing a Peely here. Um, but for anybody who didn't know, these, uh, these multi-chromes dropped recently. And uh, I am very, very lucky enough to get PR from Hollow Taco. So, hey, Janky. Um... You know, it's not sponsored, but it is free. And oh my God, <laughs> I'm a, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a fan girl. I mean, I guess technically I'm like a, a peer, but like, I feel more like a fan girl, whatever, dude. I'm okay with that. Multi-chrome or go home. Even under the ring light, like it, it washes out a lot of the rainbow of the box I'm talking about, but it's still like, it's freaking cool. Oh, wow, Spacey, that is quick. And then, also, I, I don't know whether I will take advantage, but we got, she did recommend in her video, really doesn't like those white boxes in there, uh, Peely base with smoothing base on top of it for the multi-chromes. I might do that, even though I'm tentatively planning to water marble with them. And then to hollow tacos a, a linear and a flaky so i i don't know that the water marble will need those but i can see how those would be nice combos if you're just wearing them so <clears throat> yeah and it's also like i don't know if you can tell like on the inside here like the drop like it's it's more rainbow than it appears and like the little like edges in here and stuff in the sides oh <laughs> and I mean it's smooth I mean it almost feels like the way that it reflects like rainbow specifically on the droplets like it makes it look so textured but it's I mean it's smooth it's visually fascinating I would love to have like a nail foil or something with this sort of a pattern on it <clears throat> I'm hoping that I don't have trouble with the water marble 
because it's kind of chilly in here. I have a hoodie on. I have my space heater on, but it's still kind of chilly. But we're just going to try. We'll never know until we try. I also kind of wish, like, I've been enjoying this kind of low-key, neutral, uh, metallic smooshy that we did. But, like, the one we did before with these colors would have gone, like, aesthetically so much better with the multi-chromes, I think. But, you know, that's a... Uh, that's a that's kind of silly that but i mean like it crossed my mind so oh my god can you guys just see like the subtle rainbow right there oh little pastel rain oh look at them <laughs> just i mean okay maybe i'm overly amused by rainbows or maybe you're under amused by rainbows just try letting that rainbow of joy into your heart dude colors Okay, they're really snug in there, which I mean, I guess is a good thing. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Luke. Welcome. Also, don't be grabbing at box tops with your nails. Oh, this is also missing a peely. Um, I go and get an orange stick so I can, you know, get in there easily and not break a nail doing something just foolish. Hey, Madeline. Oh, you got your package today, too. Oh, Beanie Pets. Hi, Lurka. Maybe we should... Make sure that we can see the full length and breadth of the Beanie Pet. <laughs> you sleepy boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Easily distracted, as I said. Okay, so this is Cat's Evasion. This is the, uh, what is this, like purple to gold, a little bit like of a green spectrum to it at the edges. Hmm. Can I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. So you can kind of, oh yeah, like like a burgundy-ish purple, not like a indigo-ish purple, because the other one is more of like an indigo. Goes through like a maroon a little bit, not maroon, hmm. magenta, which is not a fake color. <laughs> yeah, the black box came today too. And I think that's one thing, I mean like, you know, I've mentioned before, like, I'm not on a lot of PR lists. So I don't know if it's normal, but, like, Christine, Hollow Taco, I mean, Hollow Taco is Christine. She's got her fingers in all parts of it. You can't tell me she doesn't. Um, like, she always sends accompanying things with, like, the release. Like, you know, these are not hollow, but let's toss in a Hollow Taco and then you can, you know, layer it up. Try and watch this and not buy all of them. What two? Once I, uh, I, I'm gonna. We're gonna look at them. We're gonna have first impressions. We're gonna do swatches on black and white, and then if you guys want, we can do a little bit of comparison. Like, I don't know. We could maybe do. We'll see. We'll see what I have that looks similar, because I think that was a lot of people's concern is that they were very similar to other multi-chromes that they already have. And if I have something that you have and you want to see them compared, then we can do that. Yeah, yeah, I liked that story too, Trianera. Okay, so... That's, that's Cat's Evasion. Um, I like it. Because it's purple. It doesn't feel super unique to me. But I don't feel like it's necessarily exactly a dupe either. It was kind of interesting because if I felt like a lot of people were not excited about the blue and the green. Which were the least shifty of the collection. But I actually really liked the blue and the green. Because I felt like they were a couple of the more sort of unique ones of the collection. I'll and Pete, man, it's been coming up on my Instagram and like, I'm like, oh, oh. Like, I'm just like, oh, 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 
I, I, like, I, I can't. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to, like... <sighs> They're, they're, they're hello camera. They're ultra chromes or mul whatever they are, the, the metallic -y ones. And then now this Halloween collection, I'm just, I want them. Oh my God, I want them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, is that what it's called? The Halloween one, Wicked? Yeah. This is Purple with Envy. And you may or may not be surprised that I like this a lot because it's very purple. And then it also goes, ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, I should have went more for the corners with the other one. How could, how could I forget such a basic of, of capturing multi-chromes on camera as go for the corners? Because the corners of the bottle just get the light refracting at different angles, which is where, where the multi-chrome comes from. Ooh. Oh, oh. What, what is, oh. <gasps> Look, oh, come on, camera, please. Do, do you guys see that? Like, camera. That purplish blue in the corner? <sighs> hey, Mathulu and Lorca, thank you for the contributions. There. Look, in the, look at that. In the corner, the very, the very, like, I don't really see that anywhere here, but like in the corners, I do see it. Oh, that's so pretty. These are, oh, okay. I, I love multi-chromes. I, I think the way that they change depending on the angle of the light. <gasps> Look at that. It's like teal on one side and gold on the other side and purple on the bottom. Like it's, how can you not like, just like, how can your eyes just not want to look at this? Okay. Okay. We have, we have more colors. There's, but wait, there's more. <laughs> hey, Lady Bella, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, you know, <laughs> just casually wipe up my drool here. Beanie is very, very sleepy. Okay. This is a uh, mist shift. Oh, Oh, I like this. I like all of this. Yeah, exactly. We just bathe in the multi-chrome. Oh. Okay, yeah. Mist shift. Um, Now, y'all know that, that, that that's all the things that I like with, like, purple and... T oh, look. Ah. Camera, behave. Please behave. Oh my goodness, look, oh, gold, green. Look at those corners, camera please. Okay, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. <laughs> oh, okay, camera, you, you good? He's a good camera, I like you camera. <laughs> this is like I mean the the base the base tones of it like yes they're very similar but there's some okay we I mean I, we're gonna have to get out some others and there's also the challenge of sometimes like those very edge of the spectrum color shifts can be difficult to see on the nail but like I I be likey and like just, okay, so like I haven't taken out the actual brush yet, but you know how sometimes when you just like look at a polish in the bottle and you can tell like how opaque it is or, or like, like how you, you can almost tell how it's going to apply from how it looks on the bottle. Cause I know these aren't fully opaque, but does that make sense? Like, like they look. They look like they have a good formula before you even get to looking at them on the brush. 
because of the way the color is just so pretty beautiful thing colors blah, blah, blah. okay two more <laughs> <gasps> Nate, oh, coming in with the B5. I remember now you said you were close. <sighs> Tonight or can I do it tomorrow? Mm. <laughs> oh, P5 run. Yeah, it, it's not like it's scary. I just, I really would like to, uh, I would really like to finish one and that's been a challenge so far. Yeah, it's just being its lush self. Tomorrow's okay, you get... We'll see. I don't know. I don't know how long the stream is going to go. I haven't eaten dinner. So we'll see. <laughs> this is a uh, Blue Ain't Slick. Camera. <sighs> Ooh. So I think this is... This is one of the ones people were saying didn't have as strong of a shift. And I think on the nail, it's harder to see the shift. Ugh, camera just does not want to play. But you can see, like, it goes into a gold and, like, a copper range after it goes, like, from indigo and violet into, like, more of a mauve. I just think it's hard to capture on camera because you just get more like this and this which is a more sh subtle shift, like from indigo to blue. But getting so much glare on this one. Can you focus at all, camera, please? You were being so nice before. Just be nice for me. We'll see. We'll see how these look. I actually, I'm a slob bad person <laughs> mm. Mm. yeah I like the blue like honestly when when dealing with multi-chromes I don't know if I would want to marble with all five of them although I'm gonna try to marble with all five of them but I think something like maybe just the blue and the green come here green could be really cool Yeah, it's, it's, oh, camera. It's, it's not as drastic as, as some of the others. Like I'll, I'll grant it that, but it has its own charm. And then chameleon, co oh, <laughs> that came out really weird. Yeah, I don't know. No, I think I just, when I was being fancy with, with the brush, with the brush shots, I think I got some on it. Gotta relearn some things. Wait, are you talking about Hollow Knight things? Are you not at work, Nate? You about to stream? Am I missing a Nate stream and a chance to get to tater top points? That purple in the corners like along the edge oh, camera camera this reminds me of uh that zoya that never looks the color that you want it to I want to say Olivia, but I'm not. You got. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oliveira, Amethyst, thank you. Oh my God, I was close. Okay. Mental note, comparison time. We have to. We have to bring out Oliveira. Um, except I think this might actually like do what we always want that to do, and then it's also got like this more golden khaki shift to it. camera could you 
Could you be a pal? Yeah, there's like this, this like almost like army green, green khaki. And then there's like this like almost more teal green, kind of a peacocky green thing. And then there's like these purples in the corners. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I, I like them. If you couldn't tell. Um... I don't know what you want me to say. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel about Oliveira, too. Like, I've pulled it out so many times, and then I've remembered. <laughs> Butt spot, please. <laughs> okay, okay. Swatches. Should we do black swatches first or white swatches first? See how nice this would have complimented like all those if I still had that on my nails, you guys. I'm sorry. I just have to take a moment. Just like it 100% does not matter at all, but it would have been so fucking aesthetic. <sighs> Hashtag first world problems. Oh my God. My nail polish doesn't match my haul. Today... I was alarmed to discover is October 1st. Mm. Have a moment to just look back on how well this, these are what I have on my nails right now. Um, this and this and that one to take a moment to appreciate that those stamped and one day we have to stamp with them, except one day we have to do so many things and we're perpetually behind and half of the things that eventually are supposed to get done. will probably never get done, but ha <laughs> ha. Let's not think about that right now. Mm. White first and then black. Freebie Valley Girl, yeah. I never turned it back on because, <clears throat> as you guys have probably noticed, I've been having some, like, little bit of voice issues. <gasps> Music gal, do you see these? Can you see or can you only hear? We've, we've just done the first impressions and spoilers. I love them. <laughs> Have a safe trip home. Yeah, here, here you go. I'll try to, I'll try to get them all up to the camera too, so you can see the shift. It's like not a great view of all of them, but for just a momentary to peek. Yeah, they're quite shifty. Even the two that aren't shifty are shifty. They're, they're. They're gorgeous to me so far. Yeah. This green one, green to khaki, like bright green to khaki green to like maybe some little hint of purple in the corners. And the blue that everybody said didn't shift that much, but like it shifts between like subtleties of blue that I enjoy. And there's like hints of like copper and stuff in the corners. This one is my favorite favorite because I mean it's purple and turquoise and all good things um the more purple but like the other one is purple too and I like it more we've got like gold and green and stuff going on there though and then like this one is like kind of purple too but more like on a reddish purple side and gold more gold and green Eighteen fifty artists. Well, okay, so I was saying how I can. Oh my god, I just. Oh. I was like, "What's that?" Ah, <laughs> <laughs> well, I. <laughs> I don't even know. Somewhere along the line, that was too much. I, you know, I swear, sometimes matte polishes and peely base just are not really a very good idea. <sighs> Rip. But it's okay. Because we want to use these anyway. Let's put away this box. 
Then we can put away this box. Although Bainey seems content with the amount of room that he currently has on his chair. He's very content, Lump. Yeah, it popped off really nice, which is actually kind of different. Most of these have just popped like the tip and then left like a third of the nails worth by the cuticle. I'm sorry, I had to disturb you, sir. You were just too handsome not to pet. Yeah, you sleepy. Hi. <laughs> Me, musical? Never. All right, cat's evasion. We'll do two coats. First coat is, oh, I was gonna say, to me it's unimpressive, but to you it's got quite a bit of color. I should zoom in a little bit. You can still see though, actually, yeah, that's a good view. A little bit streaky, not opaque. I don't think any of them are opa opaque on one coat. Um, purple with envy. If anything, even a little bit sheerer. Careful before I like accidentally drop the bottle. <laughs> yeah. And I think too, well, we'll see when we do over black paper. I don't know why like a black base would necessarily not be a, a quick, easy fix if you wanted to like save polish. Mist Shift, AKA my favorite. Oh, you guys get a really green view of it right there. You guys, I was thinking the other day, this makes me, this makes me think about it. Uh, blue ain't slick. So, <laughs> I'm going to say these words. You guys can't give me any shit. The swatching project. Oh, blue is much more opaque. Like it, it's still a little bit transparent, but it's actually much more opaque. The swatching problem, the swatching problem, the swatching project. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Uh, you know, the plan was to do swatch sticks and cabochons at the same time. And I was thinking, does that actually make sense or would it make sense to split them into two projects? But splitting them into two would basically mean going through the whole entire collection twice. But might that not be easier than doing two things while going together, going through it once? I don't know. I just thought I'd share this thought with you guys. And then this is chameleon coat. I'd say that's also like slightly thicker. But not as much as the blue, but a little bit more. Also, did I say hello, Entropy? I saw I saw your comment. Welcome. Yeah, a little bit. I would say they're definitely not usually like super thin, but I think multi-chrome formula is gonna is you know a lot different than like a hollow formula. Oh yeah. Second coat is opaques it right up. Now you can see those brush strokes. I don't know how much they'll settle out on their own. A good top, you know, being very mindful of how your your application is can can help with that. Or a good top coat or both. Like there. I did a better job with brush strokes that time. <laughs> much smoother oh you guys are getting a very blue where can I tilt you guys I'm seeing this is almost like reddish fuchsia right now and this leaning like gold into green from my angle maybe if I 
Yeah, more like that. Like, even, like, a little bit past this, but obviously if I get any closer, I'll be, like, getting polish on the lens. <clears throat> oh! For your uh, Adventures in Chrome Entropy? Well, I'm not quite entirely sure, but... So I'm of two minds. I'm of the mind that painting it on the bottom, then the cabochon will like make it basically look really cool. I'm of the mind that painting it on the top would allow polishes such as pixie dusts or mattes to show their true colors. I'm of the mind that you could do on the top and then you could actually top coat each one it's going to involve painting some side of the cabochon and then gluing it basically to the top of the cap. Most, if not all, caps are like flat enough to allow that. Although like it would, I would feel kind of a little bit of shame to cover up the, the hollow taco logo. And some polishes have a name on the top and I don't know what I'm going to do there. If I'm going to try to like peel the name label off and stick it somewhere else on the bottle. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to adhere him with. The cabochon project has even more questions than the swatching project itself. Like, honestly, like there, there's absolutely no firm plan at all. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just something I was like, so the thing is, once I have swatch sticks, like that'll be great. But like that still won't solve the opening a drawer, draw, drawer. I don't know why I enunciated that so weirdly. Um, hmm. and, and seeing an ocean of, an ocean of black caps problem. Oh, 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 oh. I love all of these. Yeah, looking at you, Revlon and Salience. You know, that's that. Well, that's one of the things I'm trying to decide too, music out on the swatch sticks, like painting on the underside of the swatch stick, and then you have like a fake top coat, or just going on the top of the swatch sticks. And if I go on top of the swatch sticks, do I want a top coat or do I want to just leave them as their natural finish? I, I have to just pick one. Excuse me. I know I know I don't have it in me to have them a third each like yours. Like I'm not that organized. If I can just get them done one consistent way. <laughs> oh, does it? So it doesn't just act like a nice little fake top coat for it. Oh, this blue is so so blue. Like it's very, it's very deep. You know, all, you know what we, you know what we're going to need? We're going to need some flashlight time. That's what we'll do. And then we'll do the black swatches and then we'll do comparisons. Oops, we got a little bit of a camera. Why are you keep doing that? We got a little bit of a bubble there. You guys are getting the really like khaki-ish character of it right now. If I come up further, we get like more of a green, green. <clears throat> yeah, I think the, gla the yeah the glass cabochon should be fine. Maybe, but then like my my dream is to just can you actually see if I pull out one of these drawers? Maybe this one. No, my my helmers are right here. You guys know that. But my dream is to just pull it out and just see like a beautiful shimmering forest of cabochon tops i'm already pretty good i mean like it's not like you can't see the color like most polishes you can see at least this much but having it like right on the top would be better i mean i suppose i could just paint the tops but the cat once i got the cabochon idea in my head i don't think i could not do that i'm either gonna do that or i'm like not gonna do it
Oh, flashlight time. I'm like, what did I literally just say I was going to do? Flashlight. Ooh. Camera, please. It's like focused for a minute, but we don't need focus to see these color shifts. Although it would be nice. Mm. Yeah, I would say the blue is definitely the least, like the least shifty. And the green is the next least shifty. And the first three, and I'm counting my first three, are like the most shifty. <laughs> Can I? Hmm. Hmm. Like I said, some of the very edges of the spectrum that I could see, like in the bottle, like once you like paint it out, are much harder to see. Hmm. Yeah, they're they've got a very sparkly finish to them. I think uh I think too like given a little bit of time, like this was the brush strokiest one. And it self leveled itself de decently. Um So that's good. Go over black. Is that okay to be by you, Bainey? We'll turn it that way so it's not right by him. He doesn't like nail polish smell. Yeah, the middle one is uh, Mist Shift. And I think that is my favorite. All right, same order. Oh yeah, I mean, you're basically, you might as well just be good to go on one coat. If you're going over black, wow. Just vibrance too. Yeah, definitely shimmeriness in there. Ugh. Dude, I want to stamp with these over black. Oh. Mm. Yes, Flamingo, that's also true. Like, <laughs> oh, I mean, they have to stamp, right? <laughs> have to. Oh, wow. Do you see that, how bright of a blue you guys are getting right there? Like before I move it at all. And then you get more of that dark blue. Like, I don't know, that's very subtle, but it's still like going from almost like a bright neon to like, well, not quite navy, but like a deep blue. I don't know. It's, it's subtle, but I still like it a lot. Mm, I haven't seen hers yet. She does good swatches. I'm I'm not much of a... What was that sound? Ghosts. 
I don't consider myself a very good swatcher. Dirty notebook swatches. Ooh, same there. You get a lot of the khaki, like the khaki tone of it. Wow. I feel like these would gradient together really pretty also. Hmm. Okay, okay. Just uh just got distracted there for a minute. So we want to pull out Oliveira. What else do we want to compare these with? I hope I can find her. No. Mm. Where are you going, Benny? Too loud? Too too much crashing? <laughs> You know what? If I bet it's if it's where it should be, it actually should be in the bottom drawer. I just kind of assumed it wasn't where it's oh wait, is this it? Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't exactly where it should be. Is it one of those things you gotta? Let's get a little bit less in your face. Maybe not quite as similar as I thought, but like definitely like in that same vein. Ooh, and there in the corners you can catch like a little bit of like a mauvish purple. Cousins. This has more gold, well, you know, it, it doesn't actually have any of those things, but like in the bottle, more gold and less purple. Like you see all that purple in the corner and you see just like a bare little bit of purple in that corner. And the green is a yellower green. Oh. Uh. <laughs> And this is just, wait, I remember this being watery. It still doesn't look like it looks in the bottle, but I remember it being way more watery than that. I'm, am I thinking of something else altogether? Maybe, but you see that there's no, like there, there's none of that gold or green or purple or blue or anything. In fact, it just looks black on this. You don't get any of the indigo. You don't get any of the of the shimmer. You just get dark green. And that's it. Let me see this one. Where are you opening that? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that feels very similar. That's a great shot. Oh my God. I love that. Okay. Um. This is true entropy and such things do exist. Like there are little rings that hold a swatch nail, but I don't want to attach the actual swatch sticks to the, to the bottles. Although I suppose you could do like a, like a little ring of a certain size with like a dome. Hmm. 
Hmm, that'd be interesting. Yes, Oliveira does suck. We were demonstrating how much it sucks, even though in the bottle it looks kind of similar. I, I knew that it would suck, even though it, I was reminded of it, but I, I already knew Oliveira sucks. Mm. Maple flavoring. I remember one time I had to like I, I tried using like a, a pill twing thing didn't go well there there are some like okay so like the the whole idea with the swatches is when I reorganized my collection, I reorganized by brand. And the swatch sticks are going to be organized by color. Because trying to keep the drawers and stuff organized by color, like, I, my brain didn't usually work that way. Like, I more often was thinking of something... Like I, Most of the time, I know exactly what I'm reaching for, right? Um, So I decided to reorganize by brand, but I decided the swatch sticks would go by color. So that's... Like that's the that's the goal with the swatch sticks. The cabochons was just like an entire extra idea. Um, I've seen there are these things. They're like rubbery things that have a little thing that's like a cabochon, but I don't think it's glass. And then it like, but they're like a dollar a piece. And if you have even a collection of a couple hundred, that's expensive. And my collection is a little bit bigger than that. So that was like absolutely out of the question the uh the cabochons you can get on ebay for like pretty cheap i mean it's still when you're when you're getting like three thousand plus of anything it's generally going to be kind of expensive so i got to try and find something that's like cheap and then there's like either like a, a gel sort of a glue or like actually glue dots mm. yeah yeah music gal that's what I, th I, I don't know if I, they'll probably end up by color within brand. Although sometimes like they're in collection within brand. Yeah. Entropy. I don't know. My collection's like 3,300 bottles or something right now. So I, I have to think at scale, like it's an intimidating scale when I think about like doing anything to all of it, like it, blah. Plus there's like, there's at least, I want to say there's at least 200 that are not on the spreadsheet. Cause I know I didn't catalog any of that julep haul. Julep? Julep? You guys remember that was huge. <laughs> I think like mid three hundreds is about where I was when I started my, my blog Manda. So Yeah. <laughs> not feasible yeah it should be no i know like that's like that's one thing it's like what would be ideal and then it's like okay what would be feasible kind of you know like i i and i like i know this like it's it's a meme at this point like me ever actually doing the project look but like one day dude you'll be able to say that colette actually started this project like with the with the sticks like, is it actually feasible to print all the labels or should I just like give in and hand write them? I don't know. I'm just like complete sidetrack. Um, let me grab my, my fun lacquers. Um, I might actually need uh, like a black base to actually show these to their full potential. <clears throat> yeah, the flavored goo. I was I I may I probably missed a couple uh, comments on, but the the thing that's like basically a syringe, but like blunt, so you don't accidentally stab your cat in the tonsil or something. 
Those can be hard to use, but that might be your best bet. Hey, Ego. Um, whoa. Look, here's to one day. Like, in my, in my head, this has been and done. And, and when I get a new collection, we're not just doing these little notebook swatches. We're doing proper swatches. And we're not just painting Olivera in here. We just very neatly pull up our Olivera swatch stick. Fucking imagine, you guys. Imagine me being as organized as I imagine to be. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I could. If I if I could make up my mind, Musical. If I could make up my mind. No, I would do more than 10. I would probably do like maybe 25. I think that would be a reasonable amount. We'll see. It's a good season to start. Because see, the thing is, you guys know, like, I'm short of space. I don't have an office. We're, we're in my bedroom. Guess what? Um, but I'm going to need to move everything off the Helmers in order to get the air conditioner out of the window. And then the Helmers can be a staging area because we're going to need space for these to dry. We're going to need space to have, have things laid out. I mean, I'm doing it on stream, obviously. Can't imagine just, like, sitting alone, like, sadly painting my swatch sticks in isolation. So, yeah, but one day. Musical. My dirty secret is I already have like a lot of swatch sticks. <laughs> oh. I, uh. Okay, so like, you you guys know that this has been a plan since I started streaming. It's been a plan since long before I started streaming. It's been a plan since when I thought that 2,000 swatch sticks was enough for my collection with room to grow. <laughs> yes, exactly. We've discovered at least so far that they haven't, of course. A lot of them were not, uh, were not exposed to air because they're in the little bags. But if we, if we do the swatches on the top of the stick then it won't matter because this music gal said like various things can affect the finish of plastic getting a drop of acetone on it can fuck everything up which is which is which is reminder to self the reason that we wanted to go with labels over just writing on the swatch stick because i don't trust myself not to get acetone and lose like control like <laughs> acetone and then what is this swatch stick of um <laughs> Yeah, I'm making a channel reward. Swatch 20 polishes right now, bitch. <laughs> no. I have very carefully made the channel rewards. Nothing that I do not want or am not able to do. <laughs> hmm. Camera, please focus. Okay. Fun. Uh, believe purple purple the teal so if we have believe head to head with mist shift like they're they're like cousins sisters maybe even but they're not twins they're not twins <laughs> I I did have the thought that I could do something like crazy polish related for a community goal, but I was like, uh, no. I have the kind I I've I've considered too. I'm like, are these still the kind of swatch sticks I want? They're just like, do I still have? I had a couple out for a while that I was using for something. I remember it's just like a flat plastic stick with a fake nail on the end of it. This is, this is very interesting. Like if you looked at this and then you looked at this, you'd be like, yeah, those are the same colors. But if you actually like 
side by side, they're not the same. They're similar. Mm. Yeah, we are. I, I, in fact, I should have already uh, laid down a black for these. These need a black base. Uh, the fun lacquers, partly because they're magnetic. Ugh, do you guys, do you guys want me to get a magnet out? I mean, that's how they're properly supposed to be worn. Do I have a magnet in the shoebox? Do I not have a magnet in the shoebox? I mean, that was a rhetorical question because it's fuck is supposed to be in here with the polishes that it belongs to. Unless it's in the stamping and miscellaneous box with possibly some other magnets. I kind of feel like there is a magnets box, but where is the magnets box? Pigments, stickers, stamping, kits, <laughs> the label maker, embellishment, pinking shears, rhinestones, new bar, urban decay. Why don't those have labels on them oh, gel polishes nail foils I know I remember wait 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 wait, wait. hold on Is it one of these? Maybe. Match and Jeopardy music. No. Every time I think I'm organized, I'm looking for something that I cannot find and I realize I'm in fact not organized. <sighs> Sorry. My phone has no mute button. Is it in here? Wait, is it in here? <gasps> I used it for... Wait. No, it could have been in here, but it's not. Random loose nail vinyls. That's not good, though. Well, fiddlesticks. We, we used magnetic polish for Christmas. Right? Was that last Christmas? The ornaments? The ornaments and the magnetic water marble? Hmm. If I were a box full of magnets, where would I be? I, I wish I had just kept it in this box like the thing is I know that I have several other 
like magnet sets. Why wouldn't I have kept it close to this though? Oh, that's so dumb, Colette. Well, I mean, I could try. I have a, I have a couple things that are like magnetic, but I don't know that they're strong enough of a magnet to actually get the polish to work. Mm. <sighs> I'm sorry. I should just move along, but you guys know it always. <gasps> Why would I put it all the way over here? Because I don't need magnets very often. See what that says? Look at that! <laughs> oh. look, look at all these fancy things that are in here. Look at that. I, I know that stuff like that shouldn't deter me from getting organized, but I literally do feel like every time I get organized, I just put some shit like where I don't even know where it is. And it's not like it's that many places to be. It's a small area. It's just that there's a lot of shit everywhere. Oh, we found it. Feels good. Okay. The other two from this collection from Fawn that I have are uh, Harmony, which, you know, I don't... If anything, I guess I would compare Harmony to Cat's Evasion. No, that's that's really not very very similar though. No. I take there's there's not a color like Harmony. Harmony is a very fall themed like copper to gold to green sort of thing. Okay, so there's not if it, it's closest to this but like there's actually none of the pink that's in there it's like only like that half of the shift color and then we have incredible maybe incredible is closer to cat's evasion oh yeah okay 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 again these are closer um I'm still not willing to say they're identical, but you probably don't need both. I mean, the other one, you probably also don't need both. Um, I see more of a difference at this end of the color shift than I do at this end of the color shift. Like, that's a, that's a pretty similar purple. Um, if you look at the very edge, the top edge... Uh, the hollow taco is getting a little bit more green to its gold. Can I get that on camera? Mm, not really. They both. Well, I don't know why I want to switch this, but for some reason it will be easier for my left hand to hold the smaller bottle. Um, yeah, the, these two are pretty similar. Again, like angles like that, like the, the fun pops out a little bit of a brighter pink. And I feel like a, a, a yellower golden orange, but much closer than, than these two. which I feel like is a, is a different tone on both ends. So let me zoom in again. should have put this under here and put this like I don't know somewhere else but I didn't so it'll just have to be kind of close so 
one coat over black. And then you So you really get that like cat's eye of the uh, of the multi-chrome. So that's that's what magnetic polish does. If anybody was like, well, what's up? what's going on with the multi-chrome? That's so that's so magnetic. Like you still do get a little bit of a I don't know how much it's picking up on camera. Like the the quote unquote black area is not just completely black, like it does have like a little bit of color. Also, you can see as it's sitting here it's settling out the magnetism isn't as uh as intense all right last one is right underneath again like a different tone to the to the teal and the purple Now in certain, like in certain lights, the magnet makes the multi-chrome easier to see, but like not always. Sometimes it just hides it a little bit more. Huh. Like from, from my angle, like right here, you guys can barely see, the top of the magnet is green and the bottom of the magnet is purple. I can't really, ooh, kind of like say I can't quite get that same sort of an angle for you guys where you can actually see there that's a little bit oh it's faint on both of them but can you see how like the top and the bottom shiniest spots of the magnet are like slightly different tones that's more apparent in person to the naked eye and then uh, harmony right just for good measure because that's the rest of this collection Which, like I said, doesn't really compare to any of the Hollow Taco ones. It's a different color profile altogether. I don't know if y'all can hear that truck outside of my house. If you can, I apologize. It's kind of loud. Yeah. It's like an orange and orange and like almost into a green color. Oh, those ones are so good. Okay, sorry. Get getting distracted by magnets because it's fascinating. Um, anything else in particular anybody would like to see as a comparison? could maybe pull out a couple colors by LaRoe multi-chromes I don't like none in particular come to mind as far as comparisons mm. camera was fuzzy again I think too, like the the magnetism does intensify um, the colors a little bit, but still pretty much what we saw in the bottle, which was that, you know, this one and this one were very similar. Well, except of course these aren't magnetic, and this one and this one are similar, but not as much so. Oh, some oil slicks. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Um, maybe that too. I don't know if I'll swatch that up. Don't kill my vibe. Mm. Maybe we'll never be royals. So, okay, I pulled out cash only. It's kind of too neutral though. 
kill my vibe. It's like brighter, yellower. Like it's kind of almost somewhere in between them. And yet greener, kind of greener than both of them. Like even at the most neutral khaki color it goes. And then it's like more of a foresty green. I thought Don't Kill My Vibe would be closer. I guess Don't Kill My Vibe is yellower than I thought. If you look in the corners, yeah, this has like almost a pink and then this still has like the purple and this is just dirty and has blue polish all over it. So we can't even see what secrets is hiding. I guess just more blue in the corners. Yeah, I don't think I'm even going to swatch that one. To those two, I should say, to compare. Uh, the other one I pulled out is We'll Never Be Royals, which I think maybe purple with envy. Uh, yeah, and like with that same, like kind of almost bronze type of a thing, but they're not the same again. Similar on that end, but I think less similar on this end of the color shift. Let's do a swatch. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Now these are another, I kind of remember this with the color clubs, like they come off sheer on that first coat. We're going to compare this with this. Once we give that a slight moment to dry. I'm trying to think if there's any other like just obvious, I'm, I'm so glad you mentioned the color club because I had been thinking about that before. Um, and then like it, for whatever reason was not on my mind right now. I'm being impatient. Wait, that's not the right one. Wait, which one did I paint out? I might have just painted out the Hollow Taco again instead of the Color Club. I'm on. I like. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna just go over one. I did. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Obviously. Ha <laughs> ha. Pro streamer. Pro streamer moment. That's so much more opaque. I guess we're having side-by-side -side comparison. I'll do a second coat for the color club also. I feel like, you know what, I don't think I shook this and I probably should have. darker more intense similar not the same so much darker on on this like on paper swatch i think they look more similar in the bottle oops what am i doing here Like on, especially against white, although they're not quite as dark as the camera wants you to think. Mm, hold on. Mm, camera just is really not, you know, I might swatch those two or add a swatch over black just because I think the camera would show you guys a little better oh 
Oh yeah, I think that's already. I'll do two coats. It's very interesting. I feel like the hollow taco one shows its shift a little bit better on camera. Maybe not. I don't know. It's just because it's not picking up so dark as the color club is. And I thought it would be easier to show the color with the dark background because that's usually what the camera likes. But even with this, it's still being pretty tricky. It's it's not that much darker. Camera's lying. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Ooh, there we go into like more of the red. That's like very red on both their parts. That's an extreme, an extreme end of the uh, multi-chrome there. Is that a fire truck? Hmm. That's more accurate. It's more accurate. Not 100% accurate, but more so. Yeah, obviously really like both those colors right up my alley with like a purple, a purple vibe. But again, not dupes. Um, did I miss any suggestions of anything else to compare? Mm. Why don't you want a closed drawer? Ah. like gel pens over the black yeah the one the top swatches are just one coat so like over the white like it was pretty obvious that they're a little bit on the sheer side but over black like they definitely pop i i would say 80 percent certainty these stamp I, I don't see why they wouldn't they don't dry exceptionally slow No, these ones aren't magnetic. This is just the Holo Taco and the Color Club. The fun ones are my only... That might not be true. I was going to say they're my only magnetic multi-chromes. But now I doubt myself. <laughs> the 90s soul, yeah. All right, so if we water marble, do we then just go over black? Or do we try to pick this the lightest of the multi-chromes? I don't know if this is going to work. Like I said, it's quite chilly in here. I would prefer it like at least three to four degrees warmer for water marbling than it is right now. But we'll see. Or black, you think, yeah. Unless I narrow it down like to colors. Like a, like a less than five, which I think would also kind of be nice. Okay. Um, let 
<laughs> cups. Well, just a cup, I suppose. And water. Hold on. Tone. Whoa. Whoa, thank goodness I put the cap back on. And do I have any other blackout on the desk? I don't think I do. I'll just do one over black to get the idea of the colors, and then the rest I'll just leave over the plain base. I really should order myself some more one coat black. I know this bottle is getting pretty empty. Okay. So that's a pretty sharp point. We'll go with that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that is honestly. I mean, it, I don't know. I think anybody that does nail art understands what a, what a large, I don't want to say problem, kind of problem though. Like it's, it's huge that it's so easy to clean up for how opaque it is. Okay. Um, let's just clean off the surface real quick. Even when you start, sometimes there can just be weird little residue. Right. <clears throat> what should we do? What kind of a design? Should we just do a flower, just since we're testing? I mean, they look really sheer in the water, but that's okay. They're spreading. I guess I'm not doing a flower because I'm finding myself doing zigzags. You guys, look how smooth these are drawing. No uh, curdly lines. Okay, right there, starting to get a little bit dry. That's hot. Mm. 
It makes me want to do like oil slick, like some kind of just like random. You know what do I have? A, hold on here. Just have a smart idea. Smart. Sorry. Why waste black polish when I have a black marker? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, smart. Smart. <laughs> oh. All right, now. I also think like, I mean, if you're a more patient person than I, drip marble. Or I could get my ass to be patient. Mm. Camera. Okay. Um, so one of the things when I'm doing like random designs is you can't let it be completely random or you don't get consistency between your nails, which is something we talked about a lot when we were doing the smooshy marble is not everything's going to be the same, but you want it to be kind of consistent as far as the balance of color and stuff like that. Oh no, Amethyst. Sometimes they just, well, I don't know. Gl gloves are so irritating. Having them rip, like when you go to pull them on, is one of the most irritating feelings. Okay. Too swirly? Not swirly enough. All right, Music Al, thanks for popping in. Mm. I kind of like the direction that's going. Swirlier. I think. I, need, I think swirlier. Like more swirls. Okay, let's try. Using heavy drops of this too. Nine, ten.
Not, a, yeah, I mean, yes, but also, like, not exactly. Not, whoa, sorry, you guys are getting a lot of glare. Part of the thing is, like, when you're doing more, like, more drawing, I need to be more careful with using just the tip. Because what I'm doing is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but, like, on this one, you get very little, uh black coming through on the lines whereas here there's more do, do you see what I'm saying like where you draw through leaving a line of black behind so in that way in some cases it's kind of nicer too like the spots where you haven't dragged through like there's like the colors are actually just next to each other. Like how can I draw through less but still create like a lot of a swirl? If I drop not the not the end of the wait what? <laughs> Just the tip. You know, if you if you stick too much in, you might regret it. I really like what's happening here. I like all these things. I like different things about each of them. I wonder. I'm not confident that I remember the stroke. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I'll dip it. No, comes out too stripey. How did I do that before? You guys remember the groovy water marble? I think it was like that, but it was like slightly different. Created like more arcs along the edge. Mm. Oh no, Amethyst. <laughs> you could you could attempt to make it moderately productive by challenging him to burp the ABCs. Or, or maybe give him a, like a song like Twinkle Twinkle Little Snow <laughs> instead of just random burps. I don't know. Maybe this is not a helpful suggestion. All right. We'll have our tests here. <laughs> All right, Spacey, I hope you rest well. I shouldn't have put the marker away. I wasn't done. I didn't know that I wasn't done. 
thought I would only need a couple little tests. So like, okay, I probably should try just actually a flower or maybe even just a plain spiral. stretch six seven eight nine ten would it be I mean I wonder if it would be too busy I guess the only way to know is to try if I try and turn this into like a full on spiral. Two, if I get too many bald spots, another option would be to add like a few more drops of polish so that we have a little bit more leeway. Because otherwise, you, sometimes you get stuff like this too, though. That's why I don't want to add too much. Of course, how will, how how would that actually look if I if I dipped that out? Is that as bad as I think it is? It's not. I can't even see it. I don't even know where that little thing went. That looks cool, even though you are getting some of the black showing through. I'm like I'm actually loving the edges more I feel like there's not a lot of the of course what if we go in the opposite direction um oops wrong button Nate why do you need the mod installer again there's a link to it in there what, what'd you do to your mod installer Nate <laughs> yeah it does look like a hurricane I like that a lot too like I like I like this area right here I mean I like all of it but like that's the area I'm really feeling let's let's try backwards same thing with backwards one two three, four, five, small stretch, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten, this feels like a more centered bullseye, for one thing. Which is always more easy to work with. Trying to just use the tip. Mm. 
Oh God, that looks. <laughs> Please look as good when I dip you. Please. Interestingly, I don't feel like the colors reversed as much as I expected them to. Like the, the, I don't want to explain it. The like pinker, like the, you can see the purple and then like the pinker are more distinct in that swirl than they, I mean, like they're, they're a different sort of, what am I saying here? They're blending together more here than here. Do you guys agree? Maybe I should add one more drop of green in the middle so that I can have the contrast of the green right next to the to the pinker one. That would also give me like slightly more polish. Like a full cycle plus one. Oh, getting it for Natty. Natty getting into the mods. If you're still here, send Natty my look. Nate. <laughs> and also, you should have your own command with like a link to the mod star because you'd be playing with mods. Mm. Dino, hello. I mean, it depends what what you have in your mind as a pumpkin water marble i've i don't think i've honestly ever been happy with a marble that i set out to do as a pumpkin tbh um <laughs> and i'm certain i've done several slash jack-o-lantern What time is it here? Oh gosh, it's already 9.30. You guys, I don't know that we're going to get to an actual manicure tonight. Maybe we can just do manicure tomorrow on the early side. And then I can have games in the evening tomorrow. Saturday is Nintendo. I mean, we, we literally ma uh, maniacally, magically, spontaneously popped a Peely live on stream. Like not even trying. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm cheating because I don't want to use up all my one coat black and it's the only black I have on top of my desk and I'm too lazy to look out another black so I'm just making this black with a marker. I'm either super dumb or I'm 200 IQ. You decide. <laughs> um... I mean... Like, I did a water marble one time, and then I painted oversized jack-o'-lanterns on it. I've done water marble and pointed small jack-o'-lanterns on it. I've done pumpkin and spy. I don't know. I'm not going to say don't do it. I'm just going to say temper your expectations. I think that would be a good, a good idea. Good night, Flamingo. I'm glad you were able to hang out. I think... If, if anybody else is like wanting to do bedtime and they don't, they have, they got like the FOMO. I'm going to do a couple more water marble tests. And then I might do peelies and then I might call it a night and we might do nail art like tomorrow afternoon or late, late tomorrow afternoon noon or early tomorrow evening. Cause I think if I tried to, uh, like stay up and do a water marble tonight, I would fuck it up and be mad at myself. So, uh, I'm, I'm leaning toward this spiral. We'll see. We'll see. I want to, I want to, okay. I'm going to do it right now. We're going to do exactly what we did last time. Except we're going to add one more drop. Three, four. Five. A little stretch. Which is important not just for spread, but for dryness. Like, I find that polish is much less likely to dry when it is touching the sides of the cup for whatever reason than if it's like a 
one that just stayed in the center and maybe that's because if it stayed in the center then like it's already drying more than I'd prefer okay that wasn't centered but we should still be able to see what we want to see here all right light light pulls and if you want like an even more detailed spiral the trick is to do like six or eight of these little back and forths sort of petals a pointing sort of petal and then you see we have kind of stripes here we're going to go ahead and draw through the spikes spikes stripes gently light touch and then a little dip at the center actually that turned out pretty good I am mad at it Ooh. I feel like we're getting closer is or is that it or maybe I should go okay hold on hold on hold on maybe I should go of course it wasn't spreading as well this way but it's you know what it's fine maybe it'll sense my intent and cooperate with me this time and give me a symmetrical bullseye actually that is I don't even need to pull that Maybe I should even just instead of forcing additional drops, I should start the cycle in a color. Oh, they're really just these behave extremely well for water marbling, better than the uh, rainbow hollows. Like. They're staying very wet. They're very smooth, despite the fact that they do have a shimmer to them. And sometimes shimmer can make lines draw a little bit curdled. Mmm. These have come out surprisingly similar. Hold on here. Mm. Rainbow chip pump cake. Cup, pump cakes, I almost said. Cupcakes. Mm. Hey, Dill's mom. Welcome. I mean, we're doing we're doing these things, so I think we're having a pretty good day. That's the one. This is the one I just did, and this is the one I did a second ago. They're very similar. Like in the way that the colors are sort of balanced out. This one, the greenish pops a little bit more. Interesting. I think, okay, I'm gonna do like two more tests. See a couple things. And then I'm, a, and then I'm gonna sleep on it. Oh, these are so nice to marble with. Oh, happy. Happy feelings. Cause like there's never any guarantee that something is gonna water marble and then 
like I was just feel a little bit sad face if I was planning on it. Okay, so what I'm kind of seeing in those ones where I was adding extra drops is that the rings are getting a little bit thin. Like it's kind of changing the personality of the spiral a little bit just by how... You know, I think I'm drawing the spiral tighter too. Just if I compare like this one to this one. <laughs> okay, so we'll start here. Sorry. For some reason, I had to do that right there. Had to. Small stretch. Okay. Side to side. Top to bottom. Toward the center. So this is 10 drops. and a looser spiral and ending on the two purples and I forgot to do the black and now I have no idea how good it looks oh my god Fuck. this is why we're not doing my nails right now because my brain is starting to not brain anymore F actually have okay do it again one more time Oh, that's unfortunate, Ego. Okay, same thing, except we'll actually have a black base this time, so we'll actually get to see what it'll actually look like. Actually. Slight stretch. Continue along. And... I feel like that wasn't a very big drop, but it's okay. Should be okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Is that the balance that I want? It's kind of off-centered. Closer. I still feel like... 
somehow that first one I did that color was popping a little bit more and I liked it Maybe I just need to be really mindful about adding larger drops to it. Oh, ego. <laughs> New furniture, that is a highlight. I also feel like maybe that one would have been good if it was slightly less tight of a spiral. Yeah, I definitely... Okay, so what I'm like particularly looking at... Maybe I need to move this a little bit. It's like, this, like I said, this was the part I really like on this one. And it's got like a lot of the redder and the purpler colors. And the other ones, like, I don't know. It's just not reading quite the same. Oh, you know what else I... Yeah. That's probably part of it. That's probably a part of it, I think. Or did I? I can't tell. I might have only done two draws. Like, to the top and bottom. And not an actual pinwheel for that one. Because it's a very... That deserves one more test. Oh man, Animal Crossing. I would, if I had a Switch, I would become so addicted to that, you guys. I hope you just know I would have become an Animal Crossing streamer. A Godzilla room. Dino, you really ought to post pictures of that. Okay. Almost done with testing, you guys, but I think I may have neglected to consider what I actually was doing. Unless I'm just misreading this and I and I did something else differently with it. I really feel though like Maybe I am wrong. I don't know. We'll test. We'll see. I might be wrong, I might be right. I don't remember. I'm too lazy to go back and check the VOD. There's five. Now I think what I may have done on that one is only done done of this and then maybe done a spiral I could be completely wrong no I think I'm wrong I've got to be wrong maybe I only did like this and did a spiral that could be right I still think it's wrong no because this is even too simpler no see and then you get like the very like this see how that looks different no what did I do I'm, I literally probably I'm going to check the VOD when I'm done streaming because I really don't know how I got that one to be that different. Hmm. 
I c okay, I have a I have two more swatches or tests to do. Should I do more spirals in an attempt to get a good spiral? Or should I abandon the spiral idea and just uh, try a different design? I never actually did do like a fully random design like I was thinking would be very cool for like an oil slick. I mean, a couple of the first ones were somewhat random, but they weren't random enough. Hmm. 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 Okay, I'm going to try something else. But also the same. But also something else. You'll see. This bullseye is like perfect. Oh, I love it. Okay, so if I do like this, and then I do, let's just literally do like two, and then. That's kind of weird. The color balance is weird, I mean. I don't think I like it. Yeah, no, I don't like it. And you get like a more of a nightmare before Christmas looking spiral. If that makes sense. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, aren't all Godzilla movies bad? Isn't that the charm? Or was it so bad that it was actually bad? Maybe I should go back to the tighter spiral. But with not 12 drops, with just 10 drops? Excuse me. We're going to do that. And then we're going to call it a day. And I'm going to have to figure out something for dinner. Oh, I'll, should I? Yeah, I might as well. I was going to say, should I wait to peel? But, like, I'm already missing half my manicure, practically. I'll just have to be very mindful tonight. Bullseyes are just getting better and better over the course of the evening, to be honest. All right, now we'll go in toward the center. And... A slightly tighter spiral than I was doing like maybe four passes instead of three so like so ooh is this the magic combination I really like the looks of this please 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 Oh, that might be it, you guys. 
I know these are all like super subtle, like minuscule differences that probably don't matter to anyone but me, but I mean, it, it, it it's my manicure, so <laughs> that, yeah. Oh. I feel like, like the balance between the colors here and the balance with the spiral and now another thing that we could possibly test when we get to the actual manicure is using one of the, uh, one of the multi-chromes as the base color. Like, would it, would it look better to have blue poking through instead of black or does the black add something on its own do you know you know what i mean like where the camera where the spiral is drawn you're getting you're getting a little bit of patchiness a couple other places too um in fact the green is not very very visible in this some places you just, you got to get at the right angle i guess but you know would it would it be nice to like judge the green by using the green as the base so then the green pokes through there or would it imbalance the spiral yeah i kind of like the black but i like i question it hey dr crotron you, you just unlearned just a pog um thank you you know what This is this is the cheaty way. You just take the center section that I just don't usually even use. And we're going to do it right here. It's kind of soggy. It's fine. All right. Green. And we will see how this actually turns out. Wonder what it looks like? Just try it and see. <laughs> Barely until I painted it green, but I promise I did. <clears throat> I mean, if I have to have to go short, I mean, usually I'm... I try to keep them pretty much the same. I can have a longer hand and a shorter hand. But generally, all on one hand needs to be pretty similar. Except for my thumbs. My thumbs just get kept short no matter what now. Because otherwise, I just run into too many problems. With controllers. <laughs> Trying to just dry that out quickly. Like I've got like a lot of nail polish on me. How did I manage this? I guess handling the strips while they're wet is the answer to that question. All right, impatient. All right, same thing we did last time. 10 drops, ending on the purples, tight spirals. Just the only difference shall be the green base. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Pull that out, pull that out, pull that in, pull that in, pull that in, pull that in, and then we're going to go ahead and draw the spiral slightly tighter than we were. Like you don't want to get too tight because then... It will, uh, like, number one, it could start to dry on you. I think that's pretty good. I feel like I got a little bit uneven, like this side's a little tighter than this side. But it'll, it'll do. 
it'll do for uh, for these testing purposes like there um, wow we got a gigantic bubble here an actual polish bubble I'm gonna try to <gasps> okay and this one sometimes it's just like bubbles on top oh that was unfortunate sometimes it's actually bubbles in the polish I do feel like oh this is kind of interesting that's really wet it's hard to show you guys the green is popping more green using the green as the base color than the green seemed like it was popping over the black yes let me move this Now ignore the bubbles, but like other sections. I don't feel like it made a huge difference in the drawn through section so much as it did. Maybe it's just, is it maybe just that the marker is not a fully opaque black? That could be. I do feel though like certain sections where the where the green is peeking through it's greener of a green it's so wet it's hard to show I don't know if it's worth it though that was an indeterminate test <laughs> one princess hand and one man hand yeah I will say though I didn't always I wasn't always of the everything must be even school of thought um Like before I started blogging, I guess. Before I started taking more pictures of my nails and worrying about how aesthetic it was for the photograph. Like, just whatever length they happen to be. I mean, I always have been into my nails, but I didn't always, like, I guess necessarily think about it that much. Like, to the point of thinking about whether they were all even or not. They were just the length that they happened to be. Shaping your nails to be a particular length? Can't can't imagine um <laughs> so there's that um I, like these a lot. I love that they water marble so smoothly I mean aside from that they're beautiful but something water marbling well always makes me kind of happy Um, we do have our peelies here. At least a partial peely in that case. Let's take care of the rest of these. And then tomorrow afternoon, we'll do a water marble with the multi-chromes. Yeah. It, it's, it's very, like, moody rainbow, rainbow oil slake vibes. Why can't I find this edge? Why have I literally like popped peelies for no reason and this nail doesn't even have an edge for me to to get a get a head start? This one does. Hmm. Hello, edge. I don't wanna be rough with you. Some of you have breaks so weird like very uneven like longevity on this so those of you who thought that the blue and the green well and the and some of the other colors too in the collection were you know boring or dupes how are you feeling after after a good look-see? 
Are you are you now tempted? Or are you still uh not impressed enough? It's like this is sealed right here. I can see it's lifted on past there. There we go. Ugh. That's not gonna be a cute peeling. Meow chicka meow meow. Let's close on in for some peel porn. Chinka chinka bow bow. Did porn ever have that kind of music? I feel like the answer is no. Mm. Yeah, the pinky actually peeled really well. The thumb peeled okay. The index, see some of these two, they're like tearing as I peel them. Ooh, this one, ooh, that one's nice. You, when you hear that, and then it just opens like a little door, that's the best kind of peely. Not like this. This is the not best kind of peely. See this one? Very cracked along the edges. Also not a great peely. Almost trying to stay in one piece. Mm. Oh, that's the one that had like extra layers of top coat. I could feel it in the peely. <laughs> Uh, much different, much different vibe than the others. <laughs> Good night, Dale's mom. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a wrap it up here pretty quick once I finish. Just getting these little bits off. I probably won't do my cuticles and stuff on camera. I can do that tonight and then tomorrow. Like I'm not gonna say early afternoon. But like a before a before dinner time sort of a stream, we'll uh, we'll hop on and do the water marble. I might I might put a clear on this just even overnight because we've got these these breaks. I'm gonna be very mindful with that with the acetone. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Um. I'll do it before I'm going to head downstairs. Caters! <laughs> the timing, I'm sorry. You are you are coming in on the tail end of a... Uh, I don't know. Look and, look and test type of a situation. I don't know. I feel like I, feel like I should have some kind of catchy little, little phrase for... For what just happened, but I don't. <laughs> when is her birthday is her birth i feel like her birthday is in november i mean if we figure so end of september end of october end of november i mean that is frequent collections but yeah i don't know Yeah, I mean, I, I understand what you mean, Dino, but at the same time, like, you can't just stop everything that's going on. Nobody's getting mad at other companies. Well, or maybe they are getting mad at other companies. I mean, like Sun said with the ILNP, like, they literally just came out with that Metallic collection, and now they're literally coming out with the Wicked collection, and I think they've got a holiday one coming, too. I mean, I think she's under more scrutiny because, you know, she's she was more known as a personality before becoming... Uh, you know, a company owner, but, and I'm sure the companies pay attention to that too. I mean, there are enough people able to buy it to make it worth putting out. If there weren't, you know, if nobody could afford it, then it wouldn't be worth companies to put it out either. 
I don't know. I mean, just, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, def I definitely feel you, and especially with, uh, like, limited edition things. Like, it's unfortunate for the people that can't afford it, but at the same time, you have to, uh, oh my goodness, you have to, uh, I don't want to just say, like, look on the bright side, but you have to, like, not just stand still, but, uh, like, move forward. Even when it's not, like, you can't just wait till till things are all better to move forward. 10, 17. I got an email, you guys, from famousbirthdays.com. People are looking for you. Would you like to give us some information about you? <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Yeah, I think some of them were late, so then things got crowded, too. But, I mean, I think a lot of her fan base is excited. I mean, would I be as excited if I wasn't getting it for free? And, and had to sit here and be like, oh, another one. Like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not unbiased. Yeah, ILMP is on their normal schedule. I feel like when I'm on Instagram, that's all I see lately. I haven't even been having other stuff pop up in my feed. I don't know why they're, why they're tempting me so hard with, uh, with ILNP. Which is not sending me free PR. Uh, so it's staying on the boy. I wish I could have that list. Um, let's see. I think I think I see a place to send us all. <clears throat> People said the same thing about when. <clears throat> the uh 3d all-stars came out you know nintendo i mean much larger company but it has the same sort of a problem due to the limited limited time release aspect of it a lot of people were mad which if you don't know it's a video game collection that's only available until like march or may of 2021 to purchase you know, I, I mean, like, that's a, that's a whole other thing, too, kangaroos. But it, it is silly, because it's not like it's, you know, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, you can, you can make as many copies as you want, especially when it's digital and you're not even selling, selling copies. But, like, I feel like any, any company that's put out anything limited edition or almost that's put out anything new or made any changes, like, is facing a lot of, uh, you know... You shouldn't do that now, but like it's unrealistic to expect companies to just hit a pause button for however long this takes. Cause like, I mean, we keep saying 2020, but realistically, you guys, it's not going to magically change on New Year's. As much as we would like to just visualize that 2021 is going to be blessed and wonderful and fantastic and everything's going to go back to normal, it's not, you know, so you can't just put everything on hold and then unpause everything and have it go back to normal. You got to just kind of fucking keep trucking through oh Nate I don't think I'm up for it I haven't eaten dinner yet and I'm really tired I'm uh I'm wrapping up right now actually I was just looking around and seeing what was going on and thinking that I might send people over to meet loops because I don't think I've raided loops before because she's not usually going when I'm going um Maybe tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow evening. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to do the water marble. And then tomorrow evening, I don't know. We'll see. Are you available tomorrow evening? Or do you know you have something going on tomorrow? Because we already talked about Friday and you had said no. Am I remembering this accurately? I don't trust my brain at all. Work Friday. Well, but you get home from work eventually. <laughs> 
<laughs> might be too late though or we could we, we'll be doing we'll, we'll talk more we'll talk more later but tentatively i already put you on my on my schedule nate we're doing enemy rando on sunday Um, I don't see any new nail artists to introduce you guys today, but we can go over and say hello to Loops. If you have not checked her out before, she does crochet. Please simple little raid with me. You can drop the beanies. You can drop whatever emote you prefer. Some of you may also know Loops as Mrs. Blind Deaf Ref, uh, Ref's wife. And uh, she does Hollow Knight little uh crochet people <laughs> like i don't know if you call them cro uh emma emma gurumi gurimi gromi little, little crochet cute things uh and blankets and stuff so if you're into fiber arts or if you just want some chill background hangout creative things um yeah check her out um I'm I like I know you guys understand, but like I am sorry that I've been such a space case lately. One of these days we will. I slept through an alarm again. I'm trying to get myself up early to like try and get my sleep schedule back on track, and I just keep sleeping through alarms. So I like I don't. Apparently, I need to set more alarms or something. But um, whether or not I know what I'm doing, we'll be doing a water marble tomorrow, and we'll do a Nintendo on Saturday, and we'll figure out the rest. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope I'll see you next time. Mm. Mm, go ball. Yeah. And of course, if you are watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed as well. Um the uh first impressions as well as the testing as well as maybe that little peel porn we will be continuing this well tomorrow live i, I don't know as far as like youtube upload schedule because well um but yeah i will try to include a link to the water marble if if such a link is available at such of a time as i post this or whenever time it does become available um and as well as the extended tutorial and water marble for that um How is everyone <laughs> and of course if you would like to come and join me live for nail art wow, and other things uh twitch.tv slash coletta i'm gonna go get that dinner that i need and then maybe i'm gonna get to bed at a reasonable hour i hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching